Top of the morning, everybody. Eric Solabox on the shop this morning. It's Monday morning. It's still pretty early. I just got here a little while ago. I'm uh, running parts through on the mill right now, uh, making the pucks. You can see they're almost done. So I'm, I'm over on the mill and I'm running this part. I'm running the uh, cutter through here to create the channel. You can see it raises a real nasty burr. At the very end, I go through and I clean all this stuff up with a... Uh, uh, with a uh, razor knife But uh, while I was making the pucks over here on the lathe I had an epiphany What if I could hold these pucks in a three jaw chuck on the mill like I do on the lathe? Um, I'll show you really quick. Here's a couple of jigs that I've built over the years um, one of the problems that I have is I'm manufacturing these is I'll show you how this I had to make two of them because there's a discrepancy in the size of the, uh, the plastic. Sometimes it's smaller and sometimes it's larger, even though I'm ordering the same thing. So anyway, I built these jigs to try to hold the puck while I run the mill cutter through. And what's always been an issue is that the pucks want to lift on me. And that's a real problem because when I'm making these, what I'm really after is to set... The distance between the bottom of the pocket and the bottom of the puck is absolutely crucial because this is where the frame, if my finger is the frame on the side of a, a set of cases, uh, the pannier frame, this is designed so that if my hand is the back of the box there, the puck mounts against it and it creates this little channel here. And so this channel has to be the right depth or it won't work. If it's too small, you can't stick it over the top of it. And if it's too big, it's going to be sloppy and it's going to flap around. And so I guess my overall point here is that that channel has got to be built just right. And so I had made these jigs to try to hold the plastic in place while I run that through. I've had a lot of problems with them lifting and stuff. So anyway, I'm over here working on the lathe, making... Uh, Basically, the puck getting it to this point here. When I suddenly have the epiphany of, you know, what if I could just hold it in a three-jaw chuck over on the milling machine? And so, I get to thinking about that and I realize, oh yeah, I've got this rotary table with this little three-jaw chuck. And I can use the jaw, the chuck as my, re my reference surface, put the puck in there. And now I'm setting that depth exactly where it needs to be, and then I can run the part through. Um, I'm actually using the servo also, which is a power feed. If I set the power feed too fast, it'll pick this puck up still and move it. Actually, it'll throw it out of the jaws. You really got to crank it down. But uh, anyway, I thought I would show really quick what I'm doing this morning. I'm just running these through milling the pocket. And so if you guys want to see how that goes, uh, here we go. Throwing that plastic all over the shop. You can see that nasty burr maybe that forms on the back. It always forms in the same spot. So run it through, reverse it. A whole lot of standing around goes on. It's not so bad though. I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. So basically, here's what I end up with. And then I'll go through later and uh, clean them up a little bit with the razor blade, like I was saying earlier. I think I'm going to end up with a lot better parts, and it's faster to do, too. Or maybe not a whole lot better parts, but... They should be maybe just a bit more accurate and faster to produce, so that's a win-win. So 
So game plan for today is finish up these pucks. I've got an order that's pending and I can't fill it without having these parts prepared. And so finish that up. Um, and then I'll jump back into the boxes. I need to finish up the lids and then I got to finish all the welds. They're getting close. I'll finish up all the welding and then uh, this week I'll run them all through the powder coating machine, which is uh, over there. Um, that's always, I'll, I'll show you guys that part of the production too. We'll uh, take a look at the powder coating when I get over there. So anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Eric Soldox, Ride Safe everybody. Hope to talk to you soon.